Christmas. Merry Christmas. Three. You need to drive, alright? Yeah, you look. Like that is my car. I think it's my car. Everyone goes to your left. <laughs> think Father Christmas has been. Oh no. Oh, was that you? We are on the last day of Vlogmas. And the elves escaped. It's not good. Huh? What I call him? There's many names I call him. None of which are suitable for this vlog. Come here. Come here. But good morning everybody. And Merry Christmas, because as this vlog goes out, it's Christmas Eve for us, but for you watching this, it is Christmas Day. So I don't quite know why you're watching this on Christmas Day. There's probably better things you'd be doing with your time um, than watching one of my vlogs. Also, but I'm going to be vlogging. Where are we going? Where are we going this way? What, uphill? Well, we're both uphill. Great. Um, I'm going to be vlogging Christmas Day. Diane's already getting that promo in. She's going to be vlogging actually on our Christmas Day, but... For some reason, the Buzzwells, they celebrate Christmas Day on Christmas Eve instead. Yeah, I won't have much to vlog, to be honest. <laughs> um, so today is technically, it kind of works out great because it's our Christmas Day here. But also, because it's Christmas Eve, it goes out on your Christmas Day. So you can actually technically watch our Christmas Day, really. But we are starting off the day, like we did last time we had Christmas <laughs> here, by catching COVID off Diane. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Bye running to the beach and going for a be morning beach run. Although this does not look like a beach. No, no, yeah. It's a solid Up uphill here. climb. Why are we not on the path as well? Oh, the sea is looking good today. Wow. No chop, which means it's shaping up to be the perfect Australian Christmas day. Even though it's Christmas Eve. Sorry, I'm still trying to get it sorted out in my head. But it means that we are probably at some point, going to come down to this beach again today with Andrew, Mel, and Sophia and make some sand castle snowmen. And that guy has got the right idea. Look, look at that. Can you believe Christmas Day? I know, free Birkenstocken. Head, let's head, run this way. Right. <laughs> I was trying to give Diane filming. No. <laughs> oh no. I was so concentrating on Diane's going to be squelched for 5,000 now. Ooh. I like to always give Diane a shower for Christmas. We keep things simple. It's the little things. There you go. Oh, cool this might not, be the, might not be the final one I give you, but. There's nothing like a Christmas jellyfish. This is the perfect way to start your Christmas day. Oh, welcome to In The Pan with Joe and Diane. Christmas special. Andrew, your breakfast is served. Oh, is that real figs this time? This is real figs yes. with real ricotta oh. on GF bread. Mm. With crushed pistachio, oh. a little bit of um, what's that stuff called? K maple syrup. And Takes me back to that. What was that park called? Park. Oh, oh the pear tree. The pear tree. The pear tree, the pear tree in Battersea. Yeah. Dot's in charge of most of it. I'm just doing uh, toast. If you have any complaints about you're the taking, toast, you're taking oh. it very seriously. I've never oh. seen anyone stand there literally Look at waiting this. for the toast. I know. To pop. Yeah, I know, he is, isn't he? Well, we pride ourselves at this restaurant. I've yeah, got one yeah. job. Dan's doing most of it. I've just got one job and that's toast really, and I cannot get this wrong. I really don't think the health inspectors are like this. Oh, the cat on the uh, worktop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dot, what have I told you? Get the cat off the worktop. Okay. Now, if you can eat all this, then you'll grab big and strong. Yum. That is going to be $15, please. <laughs> have you got $15? 
Have you got fifteen dollars? Fifteen milk. Oh. Oh, we're gonna pay us some milk. Okay, we do actually, funnily enough, accept milk. So thank you very much. We'll give you some change. Here we go. Uh, mm. Milk. Can you put it for the cash register, please? Yeah, sure. Lovely. There you go. Ooh. Yum. Oh. Eat that oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. 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 Yum, yum. As it's Christmas, you can have your milk back as well. Oh, they give it there you go. Free. Merry Christmas. Um, we've had our first complaint. Sophia doesn't like it. She literally just said out loud, I don't like it. Do you not like it, Sophia? Nice? Is it nice? Yes. Yes? Oh, oh she's happy now. The bread now. is nice. Okay, the bread's like nice. The figs. But her face is otherwise. Yeah, her face is otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> she's just so polite. She's just going for the... Wash it down with some milk, that's right. With a latte instead. <laughs> Good job, good job we gave that milk back. Yeah. As change. Change and we're back at the beach for Christmas this time. With the mini buzzwell. Oh. Also, I got blisters on my feet this morning from that run. So I've opted for the, the Birkenstock and sock combo, which instantly makes me feel like I'm about 65 years old. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, excuse me, you're causing a bit of a hold up here. Are we ready to go on the beach? Andrew's in charge of picking the spot. Oh, I think he's found somewhere. Oh, not a pick there. Oh, you know why though? It means there's a big, that every 17th wave comes right in really hard. Are you sure? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Imagine if all this space here. Oh no, not this space. Not this one. No, it's fine. I really hope there's no sea creature still in it. Yeah. <laughs> We've nearly got it, team. I think you're ready for Survivor, Andrew. I think you're ready. <laughs> Success. Ready? Tap, 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 tap. Okay, are we ready? What we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn it over. Go! Okay, right, we're there. Now we've got to tap, 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 hold that, hold that. And go tap, 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 tap. tap. No, that's your little, wait, wait, that's the bit where you said, I thought you had it all down. Go on, no. Ready? Ready? Here we go. One. You gonna help me? You gonna help me? One. I think this is more for Joe than two, Sophia. <laughs> three. We've got to make the moat now that goes around it for the sea water to go into. There's loads of time. We've got to make the moat. Oh, no! No, look. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! We're it's happy. okay. We can make it again very quickly. Look, Toto's made loads of sandcastles in his time. <laughs> this is how you do it. You actually dig a hole. Ah, Mel's got it. Oh. Like, so we're just uh huh. <laughs> we'll do it oh my God! Yeah, you got to dig a so, hole. No problem. I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm coming. Okay. I'm here. I'm. I'm right next to you. <laughs> yeah, we do it here. Look. Okay. Castles. This is now turned into a full scale operation. We've got Auntie Dot on the alligator. Sophia, what are you doing? What are you building? The house? Yeah. You're baking the house? Okay. Yeah. What's Daddy making? Yeah. I'm just proud of my tent. Do you know what? It has done well. <laughs> yeah, What's Mummy making? Babe. I am just overseeing that everything. She's, she's making a baby. Are Mummy's ready? making baby yeah. number two. That's what Mummy's <laughs> making. Oh, 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 it's dead. Here we go! Here we go! Ah, woo! Woo! Whoa! Two, one, woo! Like I said with the wrapping yesterday, they're two very different types of wrappers, but also two very different types of beach towelers. If there's a single speck of sand on my beach towel, I've got a wipe it off and keep it as less sandy as possible and then you got this oh no 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 oh 
Oh, the sea today is the best it's been since we got here in terms of temperature, refreshingness, and just oh, all round, perfect. What a Christmas treat. Oh, this is so nice. I could honestly be out here all day. Oh no, no, no! Are you trying to find my brain? I'm just trying to release... If so, there's not, much, there's not much in there. I'm trying to release stuff in that ear lobe. Do you want to see a magic trick? Yes. Silly. Yeah. Are we both Disney princesses? Toto Disney princess or not? Yeah or nay? You... to drive, all right? Yeah, you look... <laughs> that is my car. See, someone's already hit it in the shop. <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of Aussie road rage there. What is an Australian vlogmas entry if we don't go to the shops for something? Uh, and once again, it is food. Last little bits and bobs. We are having the Christmas dinner tonight. We've arrived at Kmart and we've got some, uh, we brought our own bags this time. And Diane's got this one here, which is, who remembers these? I swear they don't do these anymore, do they? It was such like an R R era type thing. Yeah where the whole school would draw themselves on a tea towel. But I've learned recently, now that we're adults, that the way you drew yourself as a kid represents your personality and what you think about yourself. I guarantee you, Georgie there in the middle, she had a big uh, personality. It was larger than life, she's got a big head. Look, Georgie there in the middle. Whereas people that drew themselves, I mean, he's got a nickname like mine. Jasper. People that drew themselves really small and tiny features were very insecure about themselves. Aww. and. No, Elliot, look. We've got most of our stuff that we need to get. Um, we've got drinks, we've got hair gel for Dan's dad, we've got the presents for the uh, stockings later. But we've come to Maccas. I honestly think Maccas in Australia is one of the best you can get. But Dan's gonna get herself a little frozen coffee and I'm gonna get a Tim Tam McFlurry. What a way to celebrate Christmas Day than getting a bloody Tim Tam McFlurry. <laughs> I bet you they're out. I'm calling it now, I bet you they've run out. Flurry. Yep. And can yes. I also get one decaf Mac ice is. long black? Yep. Thank you, that's it. Oh, Thank you. Oh, we're in. Tim Tam McFlurry, here we come. And once again, I'm still impressed with the Aussie cars out here. Thank you. I knew you were going to try it first. Yeah. Look. Do it. It's just um, a McFlurry with Tim Tam crushed on top. Well, yeah. What, what were we expecting? I don't know. This is what I don't get about people that do these food videos. People go crazy for it, even though they can't taste it. I like just wooden spoons out here. I did say thank you to it, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Right. Because that would be my worst nightmare if I just took it off her. Mm. And didn't actually say thank you. 
Thank you. Him, Tam McFlurry. Nice. Has it ruined Christmas? No. I'm letting Diane finish it because I don't want to ruin my appetite for Christmas. I was just nodding off. I was just about to fall asleep and all I could hear was <laughs> And I was like, Rina's peeing spuds without no, me. No, no, I wouldn't do that. Oh, I nearly had a heart attack. No. What's that then? Oh, sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato. Okay. I've got ideas in sweet potato. Oh, no, do, no, do you want the potatoes peeled now though? Your job, four okay. Hot. Four o'clock, okay. Four. Okay, I've got some time. Yeah. I was I could hear it there from the room. I was I was awake and I was like, no, that's that's my one responsibility. <laughs> well one of my responsibilities. That is incredible. Is you? Yeah. Not inflated. Or you can imagine you get on the plane just holding this. <laughs> this looks amazing. And also, this cutlery. The best. Yeah, where's this been hiding all year? You get it out especially for Christmas. I've had this for 42 years. Really? Just give it, Mum and Dad gave it to me for our first wedding anniversary. It's so nice. See, they say that Christmas isn't the same in Australia, but look at this. I reckon that's that's exactly the same, except for if you look this way and you see yeah. gorgeous <laughs> sunshine outside. I've clocked in two minutes early for my potato peeling shift. Also, it's kind of ironic that I'm the one peeling the potatoes when I'm the one that's got a history with peelers like this. Oh, no. How sharp is it? But I've got to try and remember exactly how I do it. So uh, thyme, thyme, pepper, do you want olive oil? Olive oil, do you have, do you have any kind of fat, like a goose fat? My trusty goose. Oh, we can get, okay, good, cool, get. You need your assistant, where's Dot? She's having a shower. Right, potatoes are in and boiling. I forgot to mention, I have been nominated as chief, uh, C I am, I've been labeled as CPO, chief potato officer because, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, an ice cold beer whilst cooking roast potatoes for Christmas. Yeah. Does it get any better? Uh, I'm in charge of roast potatoes because I, in the past and also because of the, what we, the potatoes that we produce on the 10th, um, I'm feeling confident. When I am confident, I usually get knocked down a peg or two. So I have a feeling I'm not gonna jinx myself, but I just do not wanna screw it up because I've been banging on about how good the roast potatoes were that we cooked before earlier on in the vlogmas. Um, but we do have a hero ingredient of last time, which is thyme. I'll actually take you through how I do do these roast potatoes. So first of all, you get your roast potatoes and you um, do this. Make sure you do not cut your finger. Obviously you chop them all up and you put them straight in the pan here with a bit a uh, sprinkle of salt in there and you get that on the boil. Whilst it's on the boil, you then get your baking tray and what you normally do is put your goose or duck fat in there or, or olive oil, um, but we are actually doing it this time with ghee which I've never used before, but um, Rena swears by this stuff. And I think Dot does as well. It's like a sort of like a sort of buttery lard type stuff. So I'm gonna put this in there. Grass fed butter, that's it. Grass, I'm gonna put a little grass fed ghee in there. A little bit of olive oil, mix that all up. And then when these are ready, you bring this to the boil. Once it's boiling, put it on a simmer for like two minutes and then you test it with a fork, make sure the fork goes through them a little bit. Once you've done that, you then drain off the water, you whack them in a colander. Uh, you put the lid from here on top and you give it a good old fluffing. Uh, you just give it a good old shake and it will shake them all up, make them all nice and sort of weird looking. Then you get your flour. You get two tablespoons of flour. Uh, this is actually gluten-free flour because uh, Andrew and Brendan um, can't have gluten. So we're gonna try with gluten-free flour. I'm sure it'll be exactly the same. You put two tablespoons of the gluten-free or flour, plain flour in there. Once again, shake it all up, ruffle it all a bit more, and then you, oh, I forgot to mention, once you've done your, your fats and your oils and stuff in here, put that in the oven, which should be set to 180 degrees for roughly two to five minutes, get it all sort of starting to heat up and sizzle away. Then you're gonna take your potatoes from here, Oh, sorry, you need to take your potatoes from here, add them into here, you're gonna start sizzling a little bit, put a, you know, give them a good old mix up, that thing, add a little dollop of thyme in there, sprinkle of thyme, bit of pepper, bit of salt, and then back in the oven for, I think, 15 minutes. Uh, then you're gonna take them out, roll them over onto different sides, back in for another 15 minutes, and then take them out, roll them over again, and then leave them in between 10 to 20 minutes, or just keep an eye on it. Basically, for the, do, it, do it 15, turn, 15, turn, and then keep an eye on it and check it. And when you see them going nice and goldeny, crisp brown, take them out, serve them up, 
and you become the hero of Christmas. Bonza, cheers. <laughs> My only worry about these roast potatoes is, uh, one, having the, the Buzzwell ladies watching me do this, peering down and making sure I'm doing a good job, but two, I'm a bit worried about this. I, I hope this doesn't change it too much. That's gonna actually make it better. That's, okay, you said that. So if it don't work, what do you normally use, duck fat? Duck fat or goose fat, yeah. But then some, do you know what, normally I just use oil, to be fair. That's healthier then. I'm going to do a mixture of this and oil. Yeah, that'll work. That's what we're going to do. I hope this is going to work. You really love making a uh, little, what's it called, a shootery board? I do. Or like a little cheesy board, or whatever it's called. I do. Very, very, uh, a lot more festive than Dot, put it that way. Although, Dot, you've absolutely outdone yourself there. That we've, like we've figured out the Buzzwell's secret talents. Andrew's is laying a table for Christmas. Diane's is making these like these grazing boards. That's so good. Mine is hopefully roast potatoes. Joseph is doing an absolutely incredible job. Yeah, but by the time they're but all cooked. These are all gonna go so oh. nice. Oh, <laughs> Look how handsome he looks as well. <laughs> yeah. You happy with it? Yeah. Very What's this, Mum? Gravy. Oh, gravy. And then this can go back in now. Ah. Just... Yeah. Whoa, I don't know where she is. Hey. Oh, there she is. Oh no, she's gone again. Uh-oh, where's she gone? Uh-oh. There she is. What's that? Uh-oh. Panicking. Why? 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 The roasties aren't quite as roasted as I'd like. I the oven's not hot. Oven's perfect. I think it's either the type of potato. Yeah. It can be many different factors. It could be the type of potato, it could be um the too little of a do you know what i think it might be the lack of like a duck fat or a goose fat potentially although i have done it in just oil before and it's worked beautifully and the ones in oil i think are working quite nice but it's a bit pale it might be a bit more gold and brown and sort of done proper but i'll give it another 10 15 minutes One. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you two. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You three. Merry Christmas, you three. <laughs> oh my word. Rena. That's pretty good. I think we could be on to a winner. Yeah, it does not get I think much we could be. I've, got, I've got goosebumps. Yeah, not much better than that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can someone not move? Oh, no. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. No way. Oh, no. Be honest. Don't give me that face. What? No, 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 don't do this to me. They're not good. They need salt, they need salt. No, they're really good. Really? Yeah. I genuinely was panicking then. That's gonna be a, that's a good one. Rina, do you wanna try, do you wanna test one out? Go for this, this one here. And be honest. Happy, yeah. yeah. Good? Very good. Brennan, be honest. No, I do like a good potato. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah? Mm, very nice. <laughs> nice. I feel like I'm a master chef. Yes. That's a really nice potato. Oh, look. This is the big test. That's really, um... Anyone got a bit of that fat? No. It's ghee and oil. I'm going to start crying 
<laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Happy? Thank you. Yes. Look at this. Yes, uh, I can't believe there's Yorkshire puddings uh, in Bunbury. <laughs> These are probably the only ones <laughs> they're about to be eaten. <laughs> Just spotted this as well. Is that um, crackle? Yeah, that's this one, Bill. Oh. <laughs> this is looking absolutely incredible. Top that job. Good, it? Top job. Oh, oh, oh Rina thought she won the big one. No, I, on the other hand, yeah, like, actually have a winner. I make my own. I've won two bucks. Here you yeah, go, do you want it? Like a oh. starting kit. <laughs> Yeah. You, just, you break these with yeah. someone as you wish them something for the next coming year and then you pass on whatever you broke off you then break smaller and smaller wishing someone else something well you know what i'm going to wish you for probably yeah <laughs> for a healthy baby balance oh Aww, yeah i wish you a merry christmas i wish you a merry christmas i wish you all the best for high school year <laughs> <laughs> Your garden grows good because no one's going to go this year. Oh. <laughs> right, the presents are set out, laid out, ready for the game. I'm hoping it's going to work. Um, we've got the rules up here just in case anyone wants to play it at home. If you roll a one, you steal someone else's present. If you roll a two, you've got to give it away, your present away to somebody else. If you roll a three, you swap with somebody else. If you roll a four, nothing. Roll a five, past your left. But everyone's got to do that and roll number six. If you roll a six, you'll give your present to Mark or whoever. Before the game starts, everyone rolls a dice. Whoever gets the six first, the presents then go to that person. Oh, she's taken the mystery box. Because I feel that Quick, like next one, next one. There is 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. Three. Three is swap. Nothing to swap. Nothing to swap. Quick, quick, quick. Three. Nothing to swap. Go, go, go. 20 seconds. Five. Oh. Everything goes to your oh. left. Oh. Everything goes to your left. Oh. 13 seconds. Go, 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 go. Three. 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 Swap, swap. 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 Oh. swap. You've got to swap with something. Swap with something. Two seconds. Two seconds. Let's roll. Six. Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> That's it. That is it. End of the game. <laughs> Yes. 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 I started yes. off. I ended with the sex I started with the ball, with the ball yeah. and I got the ball back again. We got the nappies. We got the nappies. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box, Sophia? What's in there? Bill. Bill. An onion. It's an onion! Oh. No way. It's an onion. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we put that in there, Sate. Oh, she's actually eating their onions. Look at that. Wait, Mick, not work? She's actually really. Mark's got to put that on, surely. <laughs> Let's get Mark dressed up in Spider Man costume. You're not you're insects. You did you get you got the nappies? You got the nappies. You got the nappies. You got the nappies. <laughs> what did you get? Did you not get anything? No. Oh, give, give yourself a shirt. I have the shirt. Come on. You have the shirt, Doc. Here he comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go, he's got it, he's got it. Oh. Zephyr is absolutely <laughs> loving that onion. <laughs> Literally, I saw it. Crushing it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Thing is, I've seen someone in Bunbury earlier that was wearing that exact same outfit. I can't believe Spider Man's here. I know, right? Of all the places. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's there. <laughs> Christmas puddings. We've got trifle. We've got pavlova. Christmas cake. Apple crumble. Just as the kids left to go and find uh, Father Christmas. Seriously. He's Bim. Can you believe this? The air conditioning event. Yeah. The, the Aussie version of a chimney, the AC event. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's got to be it. That's got to be the only way. I still believe. <laughs> Andrew rings the bell to let them know that Father Christmas has been. Past, and all these cars are going past thinking it's for them. Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> You're like the weird neighbour that just shouts at cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're running. Oh. <gasps> oh no. I think he's been. Oh my gosh, I saw. He's been. Look, he's been. Go away. Oh my gosh, he's actually been. No way. Oh my god. Who's my son? Oh my gosh, Sophia was just talking. Me as Lily, oh my gosh, I think they've been to you as well. <laughs> 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 this one says pop-pop. Always pop-pop. Joseph. Joseph's not <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> that is brilliant. I gave him the wrong one. I meant to say it. Wheat mix. Wheat mix kids. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Oh, you can't buy time. No way. <laughs> time. You can buy time. <laughs> Put down your roast potatoes. Put down your roast potatoes. I never thought I'd say this, but with that, I'm going to end the vlog and end Vlogmas 2023. I've done it. 24 vlogs in 24 days. Um, the countdown to Christmas. I did it. And I've not done it since 2017, but I've done it again and um it has been quite a ride I, I i didn't think i could do it to be honest there's been some real challenges with this in terms of like traveling and being in a different country a lot of different things that have been going on i, I generally didn't think i'd be able to do it but i have and here we go with the final and last video of this year couldn't be more happier with how it's gone i've genuinely really enjoyed it to the point where i think you watching these vlogs can tell how much I've been enjoying it. I mentioned quite a few vlogs back about something that happened on YouTube that blew my mind a little bit. I never actually mentioned it. So for people that are wondering, it's the first time in so long that I've gained subscribers. Uh, I've actually gained like nearly, I think close to 5,000 subscribers this month. I've not seen people sort of actively subscribe to the channel uh, in a long long time and so um it was such a it was such a lovely feeling and sort of reaffirmed how i feel about youtube and and all this kind of stuff and reminded me that this is my this is my place i love youtube i love making content i love making videos um even though i think a lot of my stuff is really boring um you lot seem to love it and uh the amount of support and lovely comments and messages and like I said before, people that I know and bump into out and about that are watching the vlog, but the feeling that I've had from doing this for the last 24 days has been something else. It's been, it's been so enjoyable and I've loved every second of it. It's really given me a good like, <clears throat> do you know what I mean? What is that word? What is that feeling? I don't know what it is, but that's how it makes me feel. And I've loved every minute of it. Also the rivalry of the elf came to an end, uh, which <laughs> watching it back and editing it was very, very fun. Um, a lot of people on the beach watching me thinking that I've actually lost the plot, but I love that. I love that whole thing. And who knows, maybe next year it continue. I don't know. Anyway, I could talk more and more and more about this, but as you know, I'm not very good at getting what's in here out here, which is ironic because 
a vlog, but I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all your support on these vlogs, um, for subscribing, for liking, for telling friends to go and watch it, all that kind of stuff. Um, I really, really do appreciate you, and I'm very glad that we shared this month together. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and have a great new year. And here is to 2024. Take care and remember, I am a daily vlogmaster. Good night.